All right, back in Breath of the Wild to take on Hyrule Castle and Ganon. Looking forward to it. I've done, like, pretty much everything that you can do outside of a couple of side missions, but I'll get around to those. But I'm really in the mood to take on Ganon. That's the big thing left. So let's get to it. So I was going to take the motorcycle into combat. I thought about Ganondork. And those are both great options, but I captured myself a new horse. So I figure, what's better to ride into battle? You know, because if you got to ride into battle, you got to have some style points, right? So I'm going to ride my flaming horse into battle, who I named Icy Hot, because it just felt appropriate. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's gorgeous. It's actually a little stupid. <laughs> Look how uh, Link actually kind of got a little exacerbated by the heat there for a second. So yeah, I captured myself a horse, and using this neat little trick that I discovered on YouTube, uh, because, you know, why not? Um, you can get a horse that just stays on fire forever, but it doesn't hurt the horse. Uh, like, uh, okay, so it only, I think it only works here or anywhere where you have a, a far distance, like, fast travel point. So, I put the horse here, underneath Woodland Stable, uh, put him a little bit away from the water, uh, fast travel to Woodland Tower, and then fly down, fly over the water, specifically, very important, over the water, uh, wait till your stamina is like basically out, hit it with a fire arrow, and then drown, like immediately. Uh, so, you have to be right next to the ground level. Fire the, fire the arrow, hit the water, drown, and because you hadn't touched the ground before you drowned, you warp back here. So something about that causes the horse to stay on fire, if you time it right. And then fly back down, and your horse will just stay on fire until, until you, like, warp out of the game. So, <laughs> it just amuses me. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, I can't use the camera from the, uh, that's fine. That's fine. I gotta get some screenshots because this is not permanent. I mean, it is permanent until it isn't. Oh, it's hard. So many buttons. Trying to get a good screenshot. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm gonna take on uh, Hyrule Castle today. I need to find the best route to get there. That would probably get me killed because I think I'd be going through some guardians. I don't want to lose my fire horse. So I'm going to go left across Thim's Bridge. Weird name. And I'll follow the path there. Ooh, Romani Plains. That takes me back. All right. Come on, horse. Let's see if I can get a better close-up. All right, stop. Nope, forward. All right, stop. Let's trick the camera into getting closer. Normally that works, damn it. All right. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, whoa. Whoa, inside horse voice. It's okay, it's okay, okay. So we gotta go into battle ready to fight. Ooh, which I forgot, I have to uh, cook something first. But I wanna wear the armor that I think so I'm going to wear everything that I think is appropriate for the story. So, because I want to honor the champions, I'm going to honor Urbosa. I'm going to honor Rivali. I'm going to honor Daruk. Ooh. And Mifa is the tougher one because... You know, you can't have two weapons equipped and two melee weapons equipped. So I'm going to honor her, even though it's not my favorite armor in the game. It is still sexy armor. I'm going to wear the thing that she made me her future husband, even though that never went down. And then the rest I'm just going to wear, you know, pure hot sexiness. But yeah, in honor of all the people that I love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is just fucking ready to go. Horse. 
Even the horse is like, what am I? <laughs> what the fuck am I? <laughs> All right, I like my new picture of the horse better. <laughs> it really shows off the fact that there's a fucking flaming horse. God, I really have to do something about all these pictures. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get rid of like any of these pictures because I love them. They make me happy. I can get rid of this one because it's not a like a selfie. Uh, keeping Roscoe. I guess I never got a bloopy. I like that shot. I like that shot too. Damn it. Okay. God, I can't get rid of a dog picture. He's so cute. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> but yeah. I just... I'm really amused by the, the fire horse. Alright, come on. Poke your head up. I'm trying to get a screenshot here. Stop eating. <laughs> there you go. Champions. Fucking champions. Okay, enough of that. Uh, onward to... Well, onward to cooking. Uh, where's your cooking pot? There you are. Alright, the horse should stay on fire. <laughs> like, it's, if you ever board the horse or teleport the horse to you, it will stop being on fire, which is bad. Alright, so I... Because I'm not going to be wearing my attack armor... I want to make attack shit. So, four mighty bananas, bananas, and I got my—I got some more dragon horns yesterday. They're really easy to get if you know where to go. So that'll make me a thirty-minute attack uh, meal, which is fucking awesome. I'm gonna make a couple of those just in case. I'll make three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Same meal I made when I took on the Trial of the Sword. I'll save one horn. You know, just if I'm in the mood to get horny. Yeah. Uh, how am I doing on food? I mean, that's a pretty good chunk of full health recovery food, right? I don't think I need any more. Well, let's get rid of this janky bullshit. Pumpkin stew. It was a nice gesture. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, Beetle. You're never getting my fucking energetic rhino beetles. I just want you to know that right now. God, he's just so gorgeous. This horse is so gorgeous. Oh, I love him. Alright, let's go. Pack it to the max. I hear you, Beetle. Yeah. Oh, don't hit, don't hit anything. Okay, good. <laughs> so I think as long as he doesn't get hit by like, like an ice arrow or something, or I don't run him like right through water, he should stay on fire. <laughs> but yes, running onto Ganon with style. You think his dark horse has anything on this fucking flaming horse? Now, that horse mocker in of time was a bitch next to this. Though, I will say, ooh, this horse is a little harder to control when he's on fire. <laughs> ooh. Come on. It's like the, the horse recognizes that his flesh is burning from him. Uh. Please. Alright. Come on. There we go. I'm not going to worry about that Korok seed. <laughs> I actually had trouble getting that Korok seed before. Uh, it's really easy to just miss your rock throws. I'm usually pretty good at those. You set up uh, ice blocks and you can just bounce the, uh, the rock off the ice block. And it'll just slide into the, the thing to get the Korok seed. But I was having real trouble with it last time I tried. Okay. Again, this game needs a proper photo mode. Um, in particular while you're riding a horse, but you also should be able to use a camera on the horse. Oh, and I was thinking about something too. So, this is a very massively open world, right? Right, right. I think everybody can agree on that. So, it's pretty cool that you can get a house. 
Like, it's pretty neat. It's a little weird that they don't give you just a fast travel point to that house. But it's pretty neat that you can just, you know, make a house. Um, so I've said before, I, I wish every single town had a purchasable house, just like in Skyrim. So that way, if you wanted to live in Zora's Domain, you could live in Zora's Domain. If you wanted to live in, you know, Goron Mountain, you want, you could live in Death Mountain in Goron City. Um, or you could just have all of them just so you could have more weapon and armor stands and stuff like that. Oh, well, by the way, I want them to add armor stands. But one thing that I think would be really cool, and it's very doable in an open world, to actually be able to make a portable, like maybe not, like once you place it, it's placed, but like, Make a house where you can, like, hire the Bolson Construction Company to, like, ooh, I like the top of, I like the top of Dueling Peaks. So you could be, like, um, like, uh, the movie Up, and you can just make your house, like, right here. And as pain of, as much as a pain in the ass as that would be for the Bolson Construction Company, they'll be like, oh, you found a, a reasonable and flat piece of land. Uh, yeah, we'll build your house there, and then that becomes your house with a fast travel spot. Like, you know, or if you want to build your house, I mean, the game might not let you build it in certain spots. Like, you know, right now, this is all pure evil land. So maybe you couldn't just go into Hyrule Castle and be like, I want to build my house right here in the docks. <laughs> but yeah, like, you get what I'm saying, right? Like, I would love to be able to, like, if I wanted to set a house up in the middle of the Hyrule Plains, like, they'd be like, sure, we'll build you that house. You know, if I want to build the house in the middle of uh, electric land on top of a mushroom, yeah, that'd be cool if they were like, all right, that's where you want your house. We're going to build your house there. Like, ah, there's this, I just think that's a really cool idea. And it wouldn't be the hardest thing to make. So, like, Nintendo, fucking make it. <laughs> Please, like, I would love that so much. I highly doubt it's going to be in the next game. It's just one of those, like, fever dream wish list things. Yeah. To the castle! I'm just... Oh, my flaming horse. Oh, it's... he's just so gorgeous. You can get an ice horse also. Forgot to mention that. Uh, you could freeze your horse. It's a lot easier to get the ice horse. Uh, the timing is actually really tricky. Getting... The fire horse. But the ice horse... You just uh, set the horse, like, basically, like, sort of in the shallow end of water. Uh, then you just freeze them. Like, and since they just stay frozen, then it doesn't matter on the timing so much. Then you just make sure you drown. Um, you warp back to the tower, then when you come back, you have an ice horse. And he just stays frozen until hit by, like, a fire arrow, or until the horse gets boarded. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, I just learned that this morning. Like, I was using a, a specific, uh, I forget what it was. It was like L-O-G or something on uh, YouTube uh, for when I was learning how to uh, duplicate durability on items. And it was really cool. And I liked the YouTube channel. Oh, this horse is like, you're, you're about to get me killed. Please. All right, I'm going to fight for you. We doing this? Well, I got Daruk's protection, bitch. Okay. I'm okay with switching to the Master Sword for right now. I want to keep my horse alive. Oh, my horse is really close to all of this. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, I'm getting hit by assassins, skeletons. Fuck this. <laughs> oh god, everything attacked me at once. My ice, my fire horse is just like, what the literal fuck? The literal fuck. What did you ride me into, Master? <laughs> I don't think I want anything to do with whatever it is you're doing, because whatever it is you're doing is bad. 
Master, I have a family. Fuck, man, everything is attacking me. Um, I have a family, Master, and I really just I want to keep that family. Thank you. I got beset by everything right there. Guardians, assassins, skeletons coming out of the ground, bats. <laughs> All right. My horse is like, uh, I, I think I've reconsidered. I don't think I want, I don't think I want you to be my master. All right. I have to crop that down. Oh! Fuck, I keep forgetting you can go to pro HUD mode to get rid of the mini-map on the bottom. Come on, look the other way, horse. Okay, I guess we're doing that. Like, the fact that it gives the cool fire effect. Like, you can see the lighting on Link's face flicker. I just think that is really cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That'll work. Let's get back my hood. Because I fucking need my hood. <laughs> I'm no pro. There we go. Alright. I just took on a shitload of guardians. Let's go. Oh, you want some of this? You just saw what I did to those guardians, right? Alright, Icy Hot, which I named Icy Hot because he'll either be uh, frozen or on fire forever. Every time I use him. But, um, you and I are going to the end, bud. And it feels right using, uh, her scimitar, Urbosa's scimitar, in order to get us there. This means I'll have to kill this guardian, and that's fine. Alright, stay here, bud. I'm gonna keep you safe. Okay, not the fastest weapon to destroy them. Uh, that's fine. I love her weapon. Uh, we're gonna go with... Ooh, I must be mid-swing. Yeah, we're gonna go with the Guardian Sword. There we go. That's a little faster. <laughs> it's kind of designed to fight these uh, Calamity Bastards. Well, I can't get to that last one. How's your health looking? You're making it. Hmm. Make it go faster. <laughs> I mean, I gave this sword more durability. It has the durability of the, uh, of Kilton's, uh, hammer. Whatever it's called. The one-punch hammer. <laughs> like, it's a weak weapon. Uh, the spring-loaded hammer. But it's also one of the most uh, uh, lasting and durable weapons in the game. Uh, like, I think second only to the Master Sword, but you can't duplicate the durability of the Master Sword. Um, but you can duplicate the durability of everything else. So I gave, I think, every weapon except for my Elemental Blades, because I don't think I got around to that, um, the durability of the Spring-Loaded Hammer. So, like, they all have 80 durability. Which is pretty solid, especially for these royal weapons. And I don't know if the durability up plus actually affects that, so maybe they even have more durability. I don't know. Ooh, can I pick up? Damn. Alright, not that I need it. Alright, time to go back to sexy. For my wife. For me. Then I've got everything else equipped. Oh, and if I'm going into the castle. As much as it would be fun to use the Twilight Bow, because the Twilight Bow is fucking unique as shit. It just fires uh, light arrows. Like, so it doesn't even use your arrows. It just fires infinite light arrows in a straight line. And I don't think it has an... I, I don't think it has an upper limit range. I think it just keeps going. So yeah. The Twilight Bow? I'm really happy I got it. A bow used by the princess who fought the beasts of Twilight alongside the hero. It's said to contain the spirits of light's power. It fires arrows straight and true as if beams of light. Great weapon. Um, but I want Rivaldi's bow. <laughs> so I want to honor all the champions. It, it just feels right to honor the champions. They're my friends. You know, I love them. They're great. 
All right, now that I've killed that guardian, let's figure out a way over there. Okay, there's a path. I don't think I can go through water. Or <laughs> Ganon, not Ganondork. I almost said Ganondork. Oh, living in the past. Or uh, Icy Hot loses his fire. All right, there's another guardian I might have to blow up. Urbosa's fury is ready. Thank you, Urbosa. Just trotting along. Do 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 do. He doesn't realize the danger he's in. All right, wait here. I'm gonna take out that calamity bastard. Which probably means I should just. Keep this on until I'm ready to enter the castle, and then I'll eat that meal. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? What did I do to you? <laughs> Please stop. Ganon's making me do all this. Look at his health bar. Oh, the Master Sword's better. But like, oh. That is solid. Alright. I think I'll have to fight at least, yeah, at least one more guardian if I'm getting Ganondork all the way there. I'm choosing to take Ganondork with me. I think you can blow up... That looks like an eyeball. Shit. Okay. Well, Rivaldi's Gale will recharge. Hey, I need to uh, get through here with my horse. Please and thank you. Much appreciated. Much obliged. Hey, there's another one. Fuck. All right, let's walk around this one. <laughs> I don't have Rivali's Gale anyway. Got to make a path for my buddy. Hey. Ow! What did I do to you? Let's put on the guard. No, I already have that on. Okay. Let's go fucking kill this bastard so he doesn't blow up my horse. Ow! Oh! Why? Why? One more. There we go. God, extra durability in that sword is making it really useful. <laughs> it it would I think it would have already exploded if I was just using a normal horse. Or, er, fucking horse. My god, my brain is all over that horse right now. If I was just using a normal Guardian++ plus plus sword, I think it would have already exploded. Um, but as of right now, I've taken out, what, four Guardians with it? Like, that's, that's pretty good. And it hasn't even gotten to the point where it's like, it, this sword is about to explode. All right, bud. It's time. The final march onto Hyrule Castle. I was gonna wear the armor of the wild, but I feel like it's just honoring of the uh, the heroes more to wear stuff that's a little more appropriate for the game. Like, you know, to honor the characters. So until the Master Sword comes back, actually until the Master Sword comes back, Oh, wait, no, Daruk's hammer, right, okay, yeah, there you go. I mean, I'll use the Master Sword in there to fuck shit up, but when I fight Ganon, whew, all bets are off. In fact, I should probably wait until I'm fighting Ganon before I switch over to my specific weapons. So, like... I love the way the Royal Guard, the Royal Guard shield is so sexy. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. I plan on killing everything. <laughs> Why? Not sure. I just want to. Oh, turn, turn. That was you. That's on you. You did that, bud. I can't control you fucking running into a wall. What did you learn? 
Alright. Yeah, and just for my own amusement's sake, I want to I want to kill everything. <laughs> Coming for you, Ganon. You gonna target me? You should target me. <laughs> oh, dude, we are champions. We're champions. All right, I'll see you later, bud. You and I, we're going a long way together, man. All right, I don't think there's any way you can just shove open these gates, is there? Oh, is there? I've never actually tried before. Neat! <laughs> I never tried! I've played this game now three times and I've never actually tried to open that door. I always thought you had to climb over it. Motherfucker. That's insane. Well. Alright, Icy Hot. It may be a little dangerous, but you're coming with me. You're coming with me as far as as far as you survive. <laughs> At which point I'll go to the horse god and bring you back. I'm gonna try to keep you alive, man. What? There we go. <laughs> yeah, why would I waste an ancient arrow when I've got Daruk's protection that can just send it back? And then after that, I've got my shield. I've gotten good at that. I love it. I love it. Oh, now I've got the shield. Yeah, I've got I've gotten a lot of practice properly fighting. All right. Wait here. Uh I see hot. God, I have all the names in my head. Clip Clop, Ganondork, E6000. No, Ganon has taken so much from all of us. It's time we take something back. Up. You want to do this? Ah, I missed it. Shit, my shield broke. That's heartbreaking. Okay, that's fine. That's heartbreaking. Uh. Uh. There we go. I know the Guardian lasers do a lot of damage to shields. So, like, if you don't deflect them properly, it fucks up your shields. Oh, no, don't walk in the goo. Alright, I gotta get that motherfucker's attention. Icy Hot's fine. Coming over here, calamity bastard. Damn. All right, I'll get him later. See if there's any good loot in here. Nah, looks like I already got this chest. Okay. I have explored the shit out of Hyrule Castle. All right, yeah, I'll circle back around this way. I gotta make this place safe for, uh, you know, for everyone in High Hyrule to uh, reclaim the castle. <laughs> the only way to do that is to kill everything in here. The roof protection is now ready to roll. Yeah. All right. Hold on, Icy Hot. You're gonna want to stop. Okay. I gotta blow up these Ganon's teeth somehow. So wait right here. <laughs> Look for an eyeball. There might not be an eyeball. I don't think all of these have eyeballs. So that might be the end of the road for for me and Icy Hot and, as a team. Hey! Don't forget about me! I'm here too! We're important to the game! 
Yeah, but you're not a you're not a fire horse. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Uh oh, there's two. That that might be bad. Ow! I'm trying to look at him and I couldn't get the shot. Okay, they take some more hits. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Alright, when there's two firing you at once, it's a little harder. Fuck! Yeah, the two at once is fucking me here. Shit! Shit! Alright. And the fact that their timing is like identical to each other is uh, not helping matters. So you're just getting fucking exploded. For Ravali. Da 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 da! Dun 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 dun! God, there's no way to really blow up those uh, dragons. Oh no, no, that's an eyeball. That's an eyeball. Sup? I'm about to eat a meal anyway, so I don't care if I take some damage. All right. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da uh, food. Because I took a few hits. There we go. All right, Ganondork, just don't run in the goo, and you'll be fine. Master, I'm scared. I know, but unlike Ganondork and E6000, I actually love you. <laughs> I love them too. Just worse at showing it. All right. Let's clear the outside of the castle before I clear the inn. Oh, don't kill my horse! Please! Ah, I did it too soon. Alright. Please stand up. There we go. Protection is now ready to roll. Come on, what else you got? Hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, that one needed Daruk. Okay. Well, the first two I got by myself. Alright. Oh no, I hope this isn't a trap. Can I take out that eyeball now? Eh, I won't need to. Oh no! Food. Mighty food. I actually don't have a picture of a blue Lionel, do I? Hey. That'll work. <laughs> My arrogance. My arrogance has gotten the better of me. Alright, that's fair. Stay away from me. Yeah, I know, right? It sucks. Like I don't fight fair. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that. Let's see if I can get a better picture real quick. Come on, come on. There we go. Him dying. <laughs> I like that better. All right. Him falling before me. Give me all that stuff. Any good treasure in here? Oh, what? The lightning didn't get you? Uh, let's not use an ancient arrow on that. 
That might be a bit excessive. <laughs> ah, treasure. I'll take it. Alright, those guys don't matter. Dun 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 dun! Ooh. Not sure I can take out all this goo. It's a lot of goo. Alright, I, I should kill you. Oh. Hang on. Sheikah sensor. Nope. No. Uh, just turn off the Sheikah sensor. Fuck. He was farther away than he looked. Yeah, I don't want him to kill my horse. That'd be a bummer. Alright, we're doing this. He's like, oh my god, I was just talking. Why? Oof, I'm having a lot of fun. Urbosa's fury is ready. That was fast. I think everything recharges faster in the castle. Could be wrong. Alright. Any way I can get. Well, I can't get the horse across that cliff phase. Alright, Icy Hot. A Lionel used to be here. I just want you to think about that. Ooh, fire's coming out of his eyes. That's really cool. I just want you to think about how awesome you're being right now, Icy Hot. Ooh, okay, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. Icy Hot! I know you're on fire, but you'll get used to the pain. I've made it so that your body will infinitely heal itself, so that you will never, ever die from it. But you'll never stop feeling the pain. So you gotta get used to that. Like, there's not much more I can do for you in that regard. You just gotta get used to it. Like, they gave me the option. Do I want an immortal horse, or do I want a horse that's forever suffering and on fire? And I chose the fire option. I'm not saying it was the right choice. But I'm also not saying I'm regretting the choice. Wow, one shaft. That's, that's great, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright. There was another bastard up there that was targeting. Gale is now ready. It's already recharged. That's insane. Hello. Goodbye. This is why I have the ancient arrows, so I can storm Hyrule Castle. Anyone else need killing? The flying boys. They might be a little harder to get. Hey, the king of the mountain. I could have ridden the, uh, the lord of the mountain into battle. Eh, I stand by my choice. Even the Lord of the Mountain ain't a fire horse. Alright, let's see if I can get him. Look at me! Alright, gotta get their attention. That'll work. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Alright, I might need to use the ancient bow for some of those longer distance shots. Do I have any treasure down here? No, I already got it apparently. Yeah, I might have to say screw the flying boys. Like, unless they're close by. They're just so far away. You know? And for the sake of brevity, <laughs> I'm already taking my sweet ass time just killing everything. For no reason. 
Well, I mean, not for no reason. For fun. These Calamity Bastards, they have it coming. Like, if anybody ever had it coming, it's these bastards. Mm, where... Is... Gan not Ganondorf. There you are. You're coming with me all the way, bud. We're riding right up to Ganon. <laughs> thing I've ever done in this game. Alright. Need more bastards that need killing? Well, I'm gonna say that's a yes. Um. <clears throat> knock, knock. Why? I have been waiting here for so long. I was told to watch to protect the gate at all costs. Good job. <laughs> well, hello there. Master Lake, you are a bold one. <laughs> okay, come on, horse. Unfortunately, when he's on fire, he really doesn't want to run straight sometimes. Which is a little wee bit frustrating. Just a wee bit. <laughs> Sup. I love it so much. Where does this lead? All right, wait here, horse. Bastards need killing. I can smell them. I don't want to switch out my ancient arrows. It takes too long. Ah! All you motherfuckers need to go. up oh, I didn't even see you it's like you didn't even fight me honorably or give me a chance to defend myself <laughs> ow, ow. guys he has the master sword guys this guy isn't fucking around he has the master sword I think this is the thing we've been training for all our lives like we thought it was a rumor it's not the hero's real Uh -oh. Ow! I don't want you going over that ledge. There we go. <laughs> oh, I see you. You think any of you bastards are gonna be immune to my 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 punishment, my rage, my anger, my hate? Which one are you? I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get everything in the compendium, but in the form of a selfie. Specifically in the form of a self. Although I think it won't be possible with the, uh, with the elemental dragons. I'm working on it. Well, you're a... Oh, no, I have you. Okay. Hey. My name's Lank. Uh, I need you to die for me. What? Why would I do that? Alright, I think that's everything in the library. Yeah, I said library. I know what I said. <laughs> now, I haven't gone over here yet, this playthrough. Pretty sure I know what's in here. It's like uh, the king's private sanctuary or something. Ooh, the royal guard shield. That'll make up for the one that I exploded. See, get rid of the steel is all to get a royal guard shield. Nice. The writings of Rome, Bosphoramus Hyrule. Today, as the sun rose and a new day was born, my daughter too joined this sweet world. Oh, I can't wait to uh, put the pressure of the universe on her. In keeping with tradi traditions of the royal family, I have decided to name her Zelda. I am not a man accustomed to frivolous musings, but now seems a good, as good a time as any to begin my royal memorandum. 
because I feel like one day I'll be dead and people will need to read this. Reports keep arriving regarding the excavation of relics. The fortune teller's predictions seem to be coming true. Fortune teller. Calamity Ganon was not a figure of fable or even a, of legend. He actually existed in our great land of Hyrule. He, we must investigate all the relics, learn as much as we can, but understanding the divine beasts alone will take time. Zelda's eyes lit up like a wildfire when I told her about the relics. I must admit, she has a knack for research. <laughs> She's going to have to learn how to not do that shit anymore. She's got to be a princess, which means standing around looking pretty and not doing much else. My queen has left this world. Her death was so sudden and unexpected. I was like, damn. This was sudden and unexpected. I awaken most nights unsure if she is really gone. Oof, I do know how that feels. Zelda never cried, never faltered. Not even during the royal funeral or later when she and I were alone with our grief. I must assume her strength is a result of us repeatedly informing her of her duty. Yeah. To be a valiant and steady princess. Terrible. Like, you have to swallow your emotions because you're a princess. <clears throat> uh, for a child of merely six years of age, her conduct was truly that of a born leader. Her strength gives me hope. From now on, I must raise her all alone. I must be the cruelest and most strict bastard I can be. Now, only I remain to prepare, to prepare her for her difficult future as Princess of Hyrule. Zelda finally reported back after her visit to the fountain. It seems her sacred sealing power has still yet to awaken, so I need to... I need to whip her more. It has been a year and three months since her mother passed. Perhaps she is held back by heartache too deep to heal. If the Ganon prophecy wasn't looming over our heads, I would tell her to take her time, to wait until she's ready. See, now that would have been the right thing to do, a good father thing to do. But our situation is dire and leaves no room for weakness, even on behalf of my beloved daughter. My heart breaks for Zelda, but I must act as a king, not a father. He does have sort of a point. I hate to say it. I still think what he did was, like, how he treated her was wrong, but I get it. It wasn't just about her. It was about the whole damn kingdom. Um, so I actually respect the fact that he, he played the role. Like, he did what he had to do. I must order her to train relentlessly at the fountain, nonstop until she bleeds. I was told Zelda went off to research ancient technology, so I had no choice but to confront her about it. Ooh, man, did I slap her something fierce. She claimed she was simply using her day off from training to indulge in a bit of research, but I still scolded the fuck out of her. She won't get it through her head, forcing me to tell her the same thing I have been repeating ad nauseum. The reason her sacred power is still won't awaken is because she's spending all her efforts learning like a nerd, playing at being a scholar. In truth, I understand Zelda's feelings, painfully so. She lost her mother, her teacher, before she could learn from her. Ten pointless years of self-training without so much as a book or note to help find to help her find her way. Maybe her mother should have written some things down. Those in the castle talk behind her back, and I, her only family, scold her for her shortcomings. Why don't you scold the people talking behind her back? You're the king. Uh, no wonder she wishes to hide away in her beloved relic research. I'd love nothing more than to console her. But I must stay strong. She must fulfill her duty, hee <laughs> hee. Just as we all must. Even if she comes to despise me. Ah, she still loved you even in the end. Because you were... You did love her and she knew that. She just... You know. You kind of sucked at the same time. I have been told my Zelda went to the Spring of Wisdom. This is likely... This will likely be her last chance. If she is unable to awaken her power at Lanayru, All hope is truly lost. If she comes back without success. Then I shall speak kindly with her. Scolding is pointless now. Because we're all about to fucking die. I forced 10 years of training on her, and after all that, it seems her power will stubbornly awaken some other day, or some other way. Perhaps I should encourage her to keep researching her beloved relics. They may just lead her to answers I can't provide. Only in the end did he learn. For now, I sit anxiously, more a father than a king in this moment. I sit and wait my daughter's return. I don't think he ever gets to see his daughter again, because after she fails at the Spring of Wisdom, that's when the Calamity strikes. And it's just a scramble to get everything ready. Ooh, so he never gets to see his daughter again. That's sad. That's sad, man. Because he did love her. He just was terrible at showing that he loved her. He was. He had to be a king. That's, it's, yeah, it's the curse of uh, actually being in a position of responsibility where you have to take care of others. Eh... Let's see. That's what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. 
Nope. Might as well get me some jimmies while I'm here. I don't need that stone smasher, but it's nice to know it's there. Yeah, this is a good room just for some jimmies. I don't think I have that in my uh, compendium. I don't. <laughs> I want every picture in my compendium to be a selfie. <laughs> so that future generations, when they're researching how Hyrule lived, they, they're going to get to see, like, all of this. That's the Stone Smasher. They look up the Great Flame Blade. They just see the hilt with me behind it. Uh, let's see. I got some real good ones. The Dragonbone Moblin Club. <laughs> um, the Guardian Spear. I still need to retake that other one. Ah, here we get to some of my favorites. Um, just <laughs> They're all such close selfies. It's It's ridiculous and I love it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, future generations, they're going to look up. I wonder what a rare ore deposit looks like. And that's what they're going to see. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Like, I wonder, uh, ever since Electric Safflina or Warm Safflina went extinct, I wonder what it looks like. That's what it looks like. <laughs> uh, it's the dumbest thing in the world and it makes me so happy. <laughs> Mighty Bananas. <sighs> Mulduga. Muldu King. I need to work on the selfies for those. There, I did get a selfie with Farash. That's what people will see when they look up the ancient dragon Farash. <laughs> hey! Uh, Monk Maz Kashaya. <laughs> Me just touching his dick. Uh, the Yiga Blade Master. Hey. The Yiga Foot Soldier is just the top of a Lizalfos mask. Uh, I've been working hard to try to get all of these in selfie form. And it's been taking a lot of time. There you go. Here's one of my favorites. The Silver Lionel is just my Lionel mask. And you can sort of see his nipple in the background about to kill me. <laughs> oh, Okay. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm having too much fun. Oof. My horse better be okay. Because I want to ride him up to the end. But that might also not be possible. Like, I don't actually know for sure if it is. Do, do, do. Because there might just be too much goo between me and uh, Ganon. Hey, bud. Oh, I, I missed you, Master. Please, don't leave me out here again. It's scary and cold. But it's also strangely hot because I'm on fire. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Stay away from the water. Okay. That way. That way, horse. Uh, 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 man, he is hard to control. It's like he's in agony or something. What's he got to be in agony about? I'm the one doing all the work. <laughs> dun, da, da, dun. Yun, dun, 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 dun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh! What the? How did you explode? All right, well, I need to move you out of my damn way, which I can, because I see what you are. You're, I think you're one of those rare guardians that can actually be moved. Only a few things can actually have the strength to move them. Uh, luckily, a savage Lionel bow is one of them. Uh-oh. Well, fuck me. I'm going to go get that. <laughs> yeah, a savage Lionel bow is uh, strong enough metallic wise to be able to uh, actually move the guardians that can be moved nope. we go. let's see if I can get you out of here yep get the fuck out of here 
No, I'm sorry. No. <gasps> no. You were so beautiful. Oh. My fire whores. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I think if I load a save. I'm pretty sure if I load a save, he's not on fire anymore. Luckily, the last auto save was only a couple of minutes ago. Uh, if he's not on fire anymore, he's not on fire anymore. But that that's going to make me sad. <laughs> oh. I didn't think he'd take damage from the, the stupid thing that I pushed. Sad. I don't think he's going to be on fire anymore, because I think the moment you load the game, he's, uh, he's done with that. Oof. Just like the moment you teleport, uh, he's done with that. Well, okay, not, okay. Maybe it's only when you teleport him. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I want my flaming horse. Nope, he's not on fire anymore. Sad. Sad. Well, your usefulness has come to an end. Um, I'm going to take this motorcycle. Uh, I do love you, bud. I really do. And I'll, I'll get you on fire another time. But for right now, you know, shit to do. Just nothing but love for you. <laughs> nothing but love for you. Master... Am I not cool anymore? I thought you loved me. Damn it. My own fault. My own fault. I should have known. I should have known he was too close. Uh oh. Okay. Right. <laughs> My fire horse. Oh, man. Now he's just a normal, boring horse. Don't hit me. What caused that guardian to fall last time, then? I thought it was just a programmed thing. What's up? So I just lost my buddy, which is bad luck for you because I'm mad. <laughs> and I'm loaded in ancient bullshit. I've got all the ancient bullshit on me. That's where I am. The dining hall. You know what? Again, bad luck for all of you. Yeah, chase me. See what happens. Oh no. Don't hurt me. Oh, get, come on. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get over here. Alright, that should be close enough. Oh, what's he doing to us? I feel weird. My penis feels weird! Fuckers. <laughs> that was for Icy Hot. When he used to be cool. But now he's not cool anymore. Now he's just like every other horse, and that's boring. Ugh. Oh well, it happens. <laughs> Not like I can't get him uh, on fire again. Alright. So there's a lot of bastards down here I want to kill. Just for the sake of... Vengeance. For Hyrule! What the hell? For Hyrule! Come on, Link. You're just climbing. Come on. Get off your ass, Link. Moron. <laughs> do I have you in the compendium? I do. Okay. Hey, man. How you doing? You were an, a worthy adversary, dude. Seriously. Like, respect. Urbosa's fury is ready. God, that's so fast. Ow, fucker. <laughs> Alright. 
You all need to die. If I go through that door, it just leads me to uh, the library. Yeah, I said library. Right. I know there's people in the basement, but I don't really care about them. You know, they'll just be the last people who find out, like, oh my god, the castle, we lost the castle? What the hell? You know, if they're lower, the basement is lower decks. I have respect for lower decks. For the bullshit that they have to go through. So, I'm gonna let them be. You know, they deserve a little peace. <laughs> like, yeah, if you're if you're in the dungeon, you're lower decks. Like, there's no defending that. <laughs> or saying that it isn't true. Like, you're lower decks. <laughs> God, I love that show. up don't do it oh you missed me <laughs> all right I know there's a bastard up here to kill oh finally time to out to do my duty <laughs> ow oh, I failed you Lord Ganon I'm so sorry yeah fuck it <laughs> yes, that was an ancient arrow. I know what I was doing. Alright, I don't believe I have a thunder blade. Come on. Get the thunder blade. Eh, I'll have to do that another time. Hey! Oh, I forgot there was stuff out here. Ancient arrows. That makes up for the one I just used. Bundle of five arrows. Another bundle of five arrows. Apparently there's a Korok seed. Oh, hey, look at that. Well, that's a tough shot. That is a tough, tough, tough shot. Luckily, I have a bow that just magically goes forward. You know what? I have two bows that just magically go forward. Let's see if this one has the range. So much easier <laughs> than having to predict the fall. It just goes in a straight line. You just fire a phaser. Um, it's beautiful. Nope, not that one. Rivali's bow. Yes, I have more powerful bows. I'm choosing Rivali's bow. Fuck. Fuck. All right. Up. <laughs> Oh, is there another one? Man, the Korok are obsessed with this place. All right. Well, let's put on a bow that I don't care if it explodes. All right, when it comes back. Nope, too soon. How far away is that? Okay. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> this is just... huh. Hey! I've been hanging out in hell for a hundred years! Uh, yeah, I can see that. Good for you, man. I mean, bold choice. But I respect it. I do know there is... I know of one specific Korok. All the way up there. The tippy, tippy, tippy top of Hyrule Castle. So I'll definitely be getting that before I fight Ganon. Because that's awesome. Oh no. Wait, no. Is this the same trap I did before? Yeah, it is. Because I took a Icy Hot over that bridge. Okay. So I don't need to go in there. Let's go up the stairs. I'm doing a good job of just, like, fucking wiping out everything in the castle. <laughs> There's still the guard barracks. There's still uh, a lot of the flying bastards. But I'm not overly concerned with most of the flying bastards, because they're... 
They're so far away. <laughs> like, so many of them are just so far away. Alright, we got Princess Zelda's study up there. Alright, I should be able to get that guy. We got this one little loner in here. Oh, it's a silver! I don't think I have a silver. Nope. Hey! Oh, he's gonna kill me. Silver Moblin. <laughs> All right, hang on, buddy. I gotta delete that picture so I can take more pictures. What? I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, his butt is so exposed. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. You tried. Okay, the Edge of Duality. For it to be able to have more attack than the Master Sword means it's a plus attack. That's pretty cool. I think I'll get rid of my Edge of Duality. 66. Oh, it's only three off. Damn. Damn. Alright. As much as I would also love the Royal Bow, um, I'm very fond of the bows I have. And I need to keep at least six of these. Um, for the reasons of overloading the, uh, the inventory. <laughs> or overloading the screen. So that you can, uh, glitch out stuff, because it's funny. Zelda's Diary! We'll stop in the middle of this, uh, hellscape to, uh, read a diary. After meeting with the champions, I left to research with the ancient technology, but nothing of note came of my research. The return of Ganon looms, a dark force taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we can stop him. If the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed, there isn't much time left. I want to know who this fortune teller was. Ah, but turning over these thoughts in my head puts me at ill at ease. I suppose I should turn in for the night. P.S. Tomorrow my father is assigning him as my appointed knight. Ugh. Poor Link. So I have a theory. I don't know if they ever confirm it or not. I don't remember. Um, I have a theory that the fortune teller might have been sent by Ganon. Because Ganon wanted... The divine beasts and the guardians uh, brought out because he knew how to control them. So it would make his victory all the more complete. So I feel like the prophecy came from her and then she led all the people to the guardians. I could be wrong. I set out for Goron City today to make some adjustments to divine beast Varudanya. I still recall feeling his eyes on me as I walked ahead. I think he was staring at my butt the whole time. I hope not. That'd be so creepy. Ah, uh, the feeling stayed with me so long, I grew anxious and weary. It is the same feeling I felt before in his company, and still, not a word passes his lips, like it's disturbing. I never know what he's thinking. It makes my imagination run wild, guessing at what he is thinking but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Then I suppose it's simple, a daughter of Hyrule's royal family yet unable to use sealing magic? He must despise me. <laughs> I don't think despise is the word. I said something awful to him today. I told him to go eat his own dick. <laughs> My research was going nowhere. I was feeling depressed and I had uh, I had told him repeatedly not to accompany me. But he did anyway, as he always does. And so I yelled at him without restraint. That was a good cutscene. He seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty. And that guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before, making it harder to access the ceiling power. <laughs> I am unsure how to put today's events into words. Words so often evade me lately, and now more than ever. He saved me. Without a thought for his own life, he protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiga clan, and something stirred in my nether regions. Though I've been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn, I respect that she owns the fact that it was selfish and childish. That That's the sign of a, a mature adult. Still... He was there for me. I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow I shall apologize for all that has happened, but it transpired between us. And then I will try talking to him. To Link. It's worth a shot. Let's see if he actually says a fucking word. Bit by bit I've gotten Link to open up to me. It turns out he's quite a glutton. Like, it's kind of crazy that he's not, like, a tubster. Uh, he can't resist a delicious meal. When I finally got around to asking why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say, so he just kind of stayed quiet. But then he talked. 
With so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong and to silently bear any burden. Wow, they have to really write in a reason why he never talks. A feeling I know all too well. For him, it has caused him to, uh, to stop outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I think they really need to stop that and just give Link a voice. Because... I mean... That's a sign of a sociopath, right? <laughs> I don't know. I always believed him to be simply a gifted person who had never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. His whole family was murdered by moblins. His whole... His, the, his former three wives murdered by bokoblins. <laughs> his life an entire search for revenge. His adopted family murdered by Lynels. <laughs> His second adopted family murdered by a Hinox. <laughs> His training officer and best friend <laughs> got sat on by a, by a, oh, what are those called? A Talus. <laughs> His life has been nothing but pain. Everyone has struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems, I failed to see his. I wish to talk with him more and to see what lies beneath those calm waters. To hear him speak freely and openly. And perhaps I, too, will be able to bear my soul to him and share the demons that have plagued me all these years. Father scolded me again today. I'm, I, oh, it just burns me up inside. <laughs> he told me I am to have nothing more to do with researching ancient technology. He insisted that I focus instead on training. That will help me awaken my ceiling magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed I could not even speak. I've been training since I was a child. He had nothing. Fucking bullshit. Mother passed the year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost not just a mother, but a teacher, and the only family I really that really loved me. Mother used to smile and tell me, Zelda, my love, all will be well in the end. You can do anything, because the script says so. But she was wrong. No matter how I try or how much time passes, the sealing power that is my birthright evades me. Maybe that's the problem. You think it's your birthright. You don't. You don't deserve shit. You gotta earn it. Tomorrow I journey with Link to the Spring of Power. But this too will end in failure, such is my curse. The fact that she knows it'll end in failure is a self-fulfilling prophecy. I had a dr I'm, a, I'm a master of those. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, haloed by blinding light. I sensed she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a goddess, but she was beautiful. Like, holy shit, we got it on like you wouldn't believe. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my power was awoken? Or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I am sure I will, not, I will know the answer soon, whether I wish to or not. I turned 17 today. That means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for Mount Lanayru. The other champions will accompany us there. I have not seen my father since he last scolded me. Things are too strained now. I will meet with him when I return, or I will meet with him at his grave. Dot, dot, dot. Actually, I've had a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would believe a failure of a princess, but right now, for no particular reason, I am filled with a strange and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. She should have told somebody. They could have, uh, I don't know. They, they, there's nothing they really could have done, but I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe they could have done something. Done a smidge extra preparation. Oh, it's raining, I just noticed. Okay. Fuck. Fuck, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, that was the last of Rivali's Gale. Well, it stopped raining. I gotta get to uh, Zelda's laboratory. Ooh, boy, I probably should have worn the climbing gear. Okay. And it started raining again. I'm never gonna make it. Well, Rivali's Gale's almost back up because that's how amazing... Uh, it must recharge faster in the castle. It's the only thing that makes sense. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Because that's way too fast. There must be a speed buff on that shit. Alright. Let me see that beautiful eye of yours. I don't know what else is targeting me. Oh, okay. Goodbye. 
for Rivali. For Zelda. Ah, the Silent Princess. So beautiful. Like, that's a picture just unto itself. But everything has to be a selfie. There we go. When future generations look look up uh, Silent Princess, that's what they'll see in the dictionary. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a, look, a lot of good screenshots yesterday while I was just uh, farting around filling up my compendium. Uh, that one I'm pretty fond of. <laughs> they're all, there's so many of them and they're all about to kill me. Um, did I get other ones? I guess not. Okay, I thought I got more. I mean, I have more in the compendium, but I thought I kept more for permanent. Zelda's Research Journal. Today I met with Impa of the Sheikah tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and Rabi, other respected members of her tribe who somehow will probably be alive a hundred years from now because m science and magic. Tomorrow I embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech with which to operate the Guidance Stones. They find a Wii U. Today we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control the Guidance Stone. It is a rectangular object small enough to be held in my two hands. Sheikah text is featured prominently all over it. It keeps popping up with ads for like Amazon and Hulu. I don't know what that means. It is made of an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrines scattered across each region. Amber proposed that I hold on to it for now. I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered has been named. We are calling it the Wii U. We have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pira insisted we call it the Wii U, as the relic is a slate made by the Wii U tribe. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a fight I thought I could win. We did it! We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Wii U! It's, it's, it's like nobody bought this thing, and then suddenly it became good, but nobody had it. <laughs> I don't have it. Uh, we have discovered that this stone slate is capable of producing images. Dun, dun, dun. Perhaps perfect likenesses of the things you pointed at. It's like magic. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of uh, Wii U technology. Still, I know there is more to learn. There must be. We believe the Wii U may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research and quickly. We have started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. Because Mifa, it was perfect. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Urbosa and Rivali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the rising calamity. Robbie has restored mobility to many of the Guardians we've excavated, but we have still yet to find all of the Guardians. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is, no matter how I uh, search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon and only to activate upon his return? I forgot that those pillars were actually filled with guardians. That's why the world is flooded with them now, but it wasn't back then. Countless ancient structures are being discovered all across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who is fated to combat the Calamity. But the crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Wii U the key to activating them? That is Pura's theory, and I concur, and yet my experiments so far have been fruitless. Still, we must exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the Calamity. We must not give up, no matter what. I spoke with Pira about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. Like, we should really- I, I wish I'd known about this when my mom got sick. Fuck! It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against the Calamity 10,000 years ago, were the injuries so great as to necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order. But until then, I'm gonna call it... Uh, fuck, what's that called? Shit. I can't think of it. I was gonna, I was gonna nickname it the... 
The oh, Project Lazarus. There you go, from Mass Effect. I'm going to call it Project Lazarus. <laughs> I can only pray that even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. Stop reading. The last thing that she wrote, so it probably did not go her way. I don't know, just a guess. I think I got the treasure chest that was in here. I killed the dude down there. All right. Up. We go up. Oh, I wanted to ride my horse like right up to the to the gate. Oh man. I'm sad about that. He was He was a good boy. Even if he failed in the end. Link? Cool. He didn't grab the thing. That's great. <laughs> well, now I've got to wait 30 seconds for the stupid Rivali's Gale Power. <laughs> 30 seconds. Maybe. Like, it recharges so fast in the castle. It's not impossible. It's already halfway charged. Then I'll Rivali's Gale up to the top. Which I already got to the the, watt, the clock tower. That was where the piece of the royal guard gear was. Which I wanted to wear for the wedding. Just for the wedding. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Rivali, your power really is like the most rawly useful power in the game. As much as some of the other powers in this game are phenomenal. Um, yeah, Rivali's Gale is like a game changing kind of power. <laughs> Yeah, the clock tower is empty. Well, I say clock tower, the the tower. God. <laughs> yep, there's just a Korok up there, which is insane. <laughs> there he is. This motherfucker. The fuck is he thinking? Psycho. He's a fucking psycho. Hey! Do you like where I set up shop? It's not. I feel like laser beams are all pointed at me though. So should I move? I feel like there's a lot of things that are about to go down right now. It really concerns me. Yeah. It's so cool just Rivali's Gale is now ready. being up here. Um, I remember the first time I ever climbed this uh, this tower. I was uh, listening to Critical Role. They were uh, they were talking about how they were going to deal with the dragon problem. All right, I need to get that talk thing gone. There we go. The hero, the legend. Yeah. This <laughs> is fucking Korok. Ruining my shot. That's a really good shot with the way the lighting is hitting the shield. That's a... Like, if I crop that down so that the, the hearts aren't in there and the Korok isn't in there, that could be a fucking desktop background right there. Like, shit. This is... I'm gonna try to get a few screenshots because I want to get one that doesn't have his breath. Not even though it is the breath of the wild. Okay. So now that I've done that, Ganon. I, I guess we're up to Ganon. Whew. God, how many hours of play have I even done? It's been a lot. Ooh, how far does that go? Oh, that's not too far. Okay, we'll get that. Uh, get my HUD back. Do I have Rivali's Gale? I do. Sure. So, I've been looking around, and shit's been going south around here for like a hundred years. Do you think I should move? Do I live in a bad neighborhood? <laughs> I think I live in a bad neighborhood. Uh. some of the other Korok, but they're not giving me a straight answer. They just keep staring at me. Alright. 
here we are at the end. I gotta get pictures of uh, the Calamity Bastard because I haven't been doing that the entire game. So for right now, go for all the champion weapons to honor the champions. Um, wearing this shirt just because it was made for me by Mifa with love. It was specifically made for me with love. Let's make a save. Oh, and before I do that. Uh, inventory. Just so I don't have to worry about it in the fight. 30 more minutes of attack power. Alright. To get it. To destiny. Uh. Hmm. That's a bad sign. <laughs> when people ask, what was the, uh, what was Ganon like? Uh, well, he was a pulsating ball. But also when people look up the boulder breaker, they're gonna see a pulsating ball behind Link. And be like, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck is that? Enough stalling. I just don't want the game to end. I love this game. Oof. Oof, woof. Link. 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 I'm sorry. But my power isn't strong enough. He's pissed. It's like, you locked me up for a hundred years? Ugh. Wait, we're already on phase two. Because I've already defeated the Divine Beasts. Spider Ganon. Oh. I'm just like, suck. Dare you prepare for this fight against me? That is a cool moment, by the way. I mean, it did weaken him. It got him to his last phase. Ooh. Uh. 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 Oh, it forces me to have the Master Sword out? Uh, 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 Urbosa shield. I forgot to wear it. Um, in honor of Urbosa. I need to get a picture, so I'm probably gonna get hit a, a few times here. <laughs> Don't do it! Ah! Sorry, I need to record a picture for history. <laughs> it's Calamity Ganon targeting me! 
That's not a good picture because it didn't, uh... Oh, shit. I need to delete something for that so I can keep that. Um... I can... I've got so many stuff with Cass. I can, I can get rid of Cass. I'm about to get shot. Ah! Ah! I need a picture of you, but it has to be a selfie. There we go. When future generation. Oh, he's targeting my dick! Oh my god! Oh my god, Ganon! Are you that mad? What's wrong with you? That's literally targeting my dick. Alright, well, when future generations ask about Calamity Ganon, that's the picture they're gonna see. <laughs> Okay, I gotta keep that one also, because he's literally targeting my dick. That's amazing. That is the greatest thing ever. Uh, I can get rid of that. Oh, I can get rid of that. Shit! I didn't really take a look at these pictures, did I? I can get rid of a lot of these. Oh! Alright. I got my picture. My turn. For Rivali, for Herbosa, for Daruk, for Mifa. Right? Right? I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna stop doing that because it's too powerful. I could have just killed you right now if I wanted to. Oh, I have superpowers. Yeah. Well, I have a big ass boulder breaker. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's still targeting my dick. What the fuck is wrong with you, Ganon? Alright, safe. Uh, oh shit, both of those pictures are really good. Yeah, I'll keep the old picture. Ah! Try that shit again. Oh, oh no, oh no. I'm not gonna use Urbosa's Fury. It's too easy. Ugh. Oh, you are so gross looking. Hit me, see what happens to you. I know, right? Oh, I'm out of uh, Daruk, okay, good to know. Don't get too cocky. Arrows? He spits out arrows? Me? Well, that's just gross. Ow! Come at me, bro! Ow! We shot each other. Oh. Alright, let's, uh, let's heal up. Why are you stopping to eat a meal? That offends me. Oh, wasn't fast enough. He's gonna fly. I know, right? It's like I learned how to play. <laughs> yes. Yes. Alright, I have to delete a picture so I can give him more. I'm just touching his head. Oh, what's this one? Alright, alright, alright. I can get rid of that one. Uh, he's like, why are you toying with me? Alright. I feel like I do have to finish the fight, though, with... It just feels right to finish the fight with the sword that seals the darkness. Oh yeah, try to hit me in mid-air, bitch. My turn. Where'd he go? Oh, is he immune? Huh! I guess the game doesn't want you to be able to cheese. Interesting. That makes sense. Neat! So that's like an uh, impenetrable force field. Ah! 
Well, I have one solution to that. We'll see if your force field can stop her Bosa's fury. Can't. Alright. <laughs> oh! 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 He is not happy. He is not happy. Oh! Oh, lordy, lord, 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 lord. I can get rid of that one. What's up? Don't hurt me. Don't do it. Because guess what? Let's hit you again. <laughs> it's so rude. It's so rude. All right, what else can I delete? What else can I delete? I can delete that one. All right. He's like, stop! Don't do it! Oh! Ow. Sword ceiling time, bitch. It's like, you didn't take that fight seriously. That is going to be a much harder fight on my challenge. I'm going to kill you, Link. Oh. No, no, not this time. Not this time. Hold it in. Hold it in, Ganon. You can do it. Focus. Breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I don't feel so good. <laughs> that was too easy. There's usually another phase with Ganon. Like, where it looks like he's dead. But then, of course, he ain't. How do I get out of here? <laughs> ah, what the, what's happening to me? Ah! <laughs> Link this thinks that's normal. It's like, oh, th doesn't everybody get uh, sucked up into goo? Beast Gallon. Hatred and Malice Incarnate. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm Link. Uh, I entrust you with the bow of light. A powerful weapon in the face of evil. Link, you may not yet be at a point where you have fully recovered your power. Or all of your memories. Oh, I am. But courage need not be remembered. Uh, bow, please. <laughs> do, 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 do. Pity you can't keep this. It's such a good bow. Princess Zelda gave you this bow and arrow for the battle with Dark Beast Ganon. When wielded by the hero, it fires arrows of pure light, strong enough to oppose the calamity. I already had a bow like that, but thank you. Uh, let's do it. Ooh, I need. Hang on. Hang on, I need to get a screenshot. I will hold the malice back as much as I can, but my power is waning. Attack any glowing points that you see. Hang on, I'm trying to get a selfie. <laughs> That uh, didn't count. All right. May you be victorious. Are 
Okay, well, if nothing else, I want to get a picture of Dark Beast Ganon for the... Ooh, that's a good shot. If only it didn't say quickly now. That would be such a good shot. Alright. <laughs> well, that doesn't say quickly now. That is a really good picture. Uh, I'm going to keep that. Yes, this is the Legend of Zelda for me. <laughs> Pictures. <laughs> right, I need a selfie with Dark Beast Ganon, or I just don't—I don't feel complete. It just—it's not registering. It just keeps coming up with a question mark. That's disappointing. Maybe I have to unequip everything. Oh, I get that feeling. Oh, I can't get the selfie! Uh oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm about to die. Oh, this was a good life! <laughs> yeah, the selfie isn't working. I think his hitbox is too big. Ha <laughs> That's sad. I wanted to get everything in the form of a selfie. Alright, that's fair. That's fair. Like that... Hmm. I guess there'll have to be exceptions. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot glowing points, but I haven't been looking at him. There they are. All right, Icy Hot. Uh, Icy Hot? Oh, Icy Hot. You, you're not going to want to stand there. Bud. Let's go. That's like me when I'm trying to hold my pee. Sometimes you just can't do it. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, maybe I, maybe I can get a picture from the side. Come on. Come on, give me a selfie. Yourself, hmm. Damn, all right. Damn. Oh. I mean, he's a big boy, that's for sure. Ooh, look at those testes. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, calm down. Calm down. Damn it! Fucking Icy Hot! You know what, Icy Hot? You've been good. Working on it. <laughs> Icy Hot pissed me off. Oh, good, I hit a tree. Great. It's Motorcycle! Sup? This is cool. <laughs> No. Looking for the uh Oh, it's underneath. There we go. Oh, that's his taint. I'm looking for the spots to shoot. Oh, it's up top? Alright. Let's go. Oh! Pfft, 
Damn. Too late. Yeah, it was definitely too late. <laughs> Ow. Well, open up for me, Smiley. I really fucked around too much in that fight trying to get a selfie. <laughs> With Ganon. But it, I couldn't get it. He's like, I remember you. We call that OP. <laughs> In my world. <laughs> are we the bad guys? Ganon tries so hard against overwhelming odds. Like, are we the bad guys? <laughs> no, I don't think we are. I've been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Ganon. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Lee. The hero of Hyrule. She said it. May I ask? <laughs> do you really remember me? I mean, it's been a long time. <laughs> nice touch to end on that note, too, where it's like, so, do you remember me or not? Like, they leave it open so, like, if you just sped rushed again and, like, it's, you know, understandable if maybe your character doesn't remember. She even has dialogue that hints, like, I don't know if you got your power back or your memories back. It's like, yes, you do. You've talked to me about it. Ooh, okay, so the final fight may not be that difficult, which is a bit of a bummer. Like, I was kind of playing around and joking and trying to get screenshots the whole time and selfies. But in spite of that, this game is a masterpiece. All right. Don't remember what comes after. I don't like... It's not that I want to skip the credits. I want to give credit to all the people who made this beautiful game, but... We'll make our way to Zora's domain. Divine Beast Varuta. Looks like it's stopped working. Let's investigate the situation. Mifa's father. I believe he would like to hear more about her. The least we can do is visit him and offer him some closure. Although Ganon is gone for now, 
There is still so much more for us to do, and so many painful memories that we must bear. I believe in my heart that if all of us work together, we can restore Hyrule to its former glory. Perhaps even beyond, but it all must start with us. Let's be off. I can no longer hear the voice inside the sword. I suppose it would make sense if my power had dwindled over the past 100 years. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. <laughs> Hey, she took my horse. <laughs> Metaphor. <laughs> oh, no, this game's a masterpiece. And that last little bit right there, character development. Like, she no longer is pressuring herself with the burden of always having to be everything for everyone. She's just going to do what she can and try to make the world a better place. Oof. All right, so where does the continue happen? All right, so it has the star. So is Gan... I don't remember. Is Ganon just gone in this world now, but I can still just explore it to my heart's content? Or is there always going to be a Ganon fight? I just... I don't remember. Probably there will always be a Ganon fight. Um, or not. No, no, there's still a pulsating heart. Okay, so there will always be a Ganon fight. That's good to know. That's what I wanted to know. So. Oh, you can't use that here? Can you use it out here? Could I have ridden a motorcycle into combat? Aw, <laughs> oh, despawns. Fucking game. Well, that was Breath of the Wild. Um, whew. I think that this game is a masterpiece. I think that everything about this game is just unbelievably fun. I wish some of the shrines were a little more challenging. I wish the the fight with Ganon was a little more challenging. But a game as a whole, it's just phenomenal from beginning to end. Like, Because it gives you the freedom to do whatever you want to do. In any order you want to do it. At any pace you want to do it. Uh, if you want to do none of it, you can literally... And this is something I want to do. You can just get off the Great Plateau once you get the glider, which doesn't take very long. And you can just go straight for Ganon if you want. If, if you want a difficult fight. Um, or you could take the time and prepare to become overpowered as fuck like I was. But this game is just such a masterpiece of open world video game design. It's The world is rich, colorful, beautiful, interesting, full of... You know, fascinating characters, full of stuff to explore and discover. You have powers that are unique and interesting to this Zelda, uh, as opposed to other Zeldas. Like, his, the Wii U gives you some very powerful abilities. Uh, Sheikah Slate, whatever. Um, the weapons are cool and interesting. Uh, like, it's just the, uh, like, so much options in terms of, like, weapons, defense, armor... You, like, for the first time in a Zelda game, you have, like, countless options for armor, not just a few. Um, with also different types of perks, you know, stealth, combat, heat protection, climbing. Like, oh, the game gives you so many abilities. Then the ability to cook and also give yourself buffs, temporary hearts. Um, limited crafting with the ability to get materials and then to go to, like, craft certain things if you have certain materials but like the game gives you so many options like place a piece of wood on the ground and then set it on fire somehow and you get a campfire if you don't have a fire weapon you can place some flint on the ground and strike it with a sword and it starts a fire like that's really cool you know the physics engine you know if you the cold water in that one shrine like you can't get to it without getting damaged so you can cut down a tree and ride the log that's really cool um 
Like, this game is just amazing. Like, I, <laughs> I, I was putting a lot of thought into this. Um, I would count this as my second favorite all-time Zelda game. Uh, if I had to number them. My first favorite Zelda game. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that would probably disagree. But that's their opinion, and that's their right to disagree. But my first favorite, and it was tough to say, is Majora's Mask. Um, just from a pure replayability standpoint, from a combination of nostalgia, a combination of... of just beloved memories, a combination of loving the story that they told. Um, Majora's Mask really did it for me. Uh... And it's a game that, like, what, what's it been? 24 years since it came out? Something like that? 23 years? It's a game that 23 years later I can still play and still love and adore. Um, and I've played it a lot over the years. Um, uh, you're a little too far. <laughs> wow! Um, so yeah, Majora's Mask would be my number one favorite. Most people pick Ocarina of Time, and that's fair, because that's a, that's a phenomenal and gorgeous game, too. Uh, second would be Breath of the Wild. This game just gave you unbelievable number, uh, unbelievable amount of options. Like, just, it's such an amazing and all-encompassing large world full of countless things to do. Like, it's just, it's so purely and beautifully Zelda, but with an open-world spin. Um, my third favorite game would be Wind Waker. I, I I know most people would be surprised that my top three doesn't have Ocarina of Time in it. Because uh, almost every Zelda fan picks Ocarina of Time as, like, their number one. But if nothing else, it's usually in their number three. Like, one to three. But no, Wind Waker would be my third one. Again, just from pure style... The style was unique and interesting, and at the time, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to take it seriously. But Wind Waker blew me away in terms of gameplay, in terms of graphics, in terms of story. Like, it put a very different twist on the hero and the princess. And it gave a very interesting depiction of Ganon. Um, the sailing, like, a lot of people bitch that it was too slow. That's why they made it faster in the Wii U version. But it never bothered me. Like, it never once bothered me as a kid. Uh, the slow sailing. Like, the game was amazing. I just wanted to play more of it. So I would put Wind Waker as my number three Zelda game. Number four would be Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time was a masterpiece. I love it. I adore it. I have played the crap out of it. I'll probably play it again in the future. Just because it's four doesn't mean I don't love it. And then five, because I'm only going to go up to five. Five would be A Link to the Past. I mean, A Link to the Past was... Holy shit. That game. That game, like... That game was like the first Zelda game that really showed like what Zelda could be because it it recaptured the magic of the original formula but in at the time an upgraded graphics setting and it took everything to the next level like it's just oh your your abilities, your power, your movement, your what your items like that game is still to this day just a phenomenal experience. Um, so yeah, that'd be my top five for Zelda. But Breath of the Wild would be number two. This game was just was amazing. I cannot wait for the next one. Uh, so that's that's it for my story playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Uh, in a few days, well, my time uh, it'll be the next video up for Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm planning on at some point I have to create another uh, profile so I can start another playthrough. I just want to get myself to the point where I'm ready to get off the Great Plateau, so complete the tutorial shrines. That takes very little time. Uh, then I'll start the playthrough there, essentially, like, making it seem like I'm waking up from the the Shrine of Resurrection. I just have the powers the game kind of forces you to get. And I'm going to rush straight to Ganon. Do nothing else. Whatever resources I gather along the way, that's what I'm going to have. And I'm going to do my best to try to get through the castle, and I'm going to see if I can take out Ganon with no preparation. I've never successfully done it, I'd love to see if I can do it. Yeah, I'll have to fight all four Divine Beast bosses, because they won't be dead beforehand. I'll have to take on the full Ganon form, both Phase 1 and Phase 2. 
and then I'll have to take on Dark Beast Ganon. Now, Dark Beast Ganon is kind of a joke. I made that way harder than it needed to be because I was trying to get that selfie. Um, which, you know, I did get a lot of good pictures of me with Ganon, but I didn't get the selfie for the compendium, which makes me sad. Like, don't get me wrong, that's cool. Look at look at the Calamity Ganon picture. It's like, I love that Link's just like, hey. Uh, but yeah, that's the only thing I really have left to do in Breath of the Wild recording-wise. I'm still going to keep playing the shit out of this game because I love it. But, if anybody stuck around and watched me through my terrible gameplay, um, because yeah, I, I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm no pro gamer. <laughs> like, I try to play to have fun, and this entire playthrough, with the exception of Thunderblight Ganon, that frustrated me, but that's more frustrating, I'm frustrated at myself than at the game. The game's wonderful. Um, but with the exception of the two times I fought Thunderblight Ganon, I had a tremendous amount of fun. <laughs> this game is wonderful. From beginning to end. So yeah. Peace. Oh, and if anybody is ever watching this in the future, uh, you know, leave a comment of uh, like what your what are your, what's your top five Zelda experiences? Because there's plenty to choose from. My God, there's plenty to choose from, and I own almost all of them. But yeah. Peace.